How would it feel to declutter 300 items by the end of this month? Maybe a little lighter, like a burden had been lifted from your shoulders, or perhaps a strong sense of accomplishment? Well, I'm going to tell you exactly how you can make that happen in today's video. Hi, and welcome back to The Cottage. On this channel, I talk a lot about decluttering, and I will sometimes get comments from people that are excited about decluttering, they want to get the process going, but they feel paralyzed by not knowing where to start or what exactly to do. And I get it. Sometimes we just need to be told exactly step-by-step step a guide of how to get this accomplished. So I've created this step-by-step -step guide for you. And if you follow along, you will have 300 fewer items by the end of this month. In fact, I chose to release this video at the beginning of the month so that you have the entire 30 or 31 days to go through the process. But if you feel like you want to accelerate the pace, you're also welcome to do more than one day at a time. In fact, if you have a weekend free, you could possibly go through all 30 days of this guide in a weekend. So it's really up to you the pace that you want to take. What I would recommend is to watch this video through its entirety once and then go back to the beginning of the video and watch at your pace decluttering in real time and just pausing on each category as you work. And if you don't have anything to declutter from a specific category, feel free to pull from the bonus ideas that are at the end of this video. We're going to start off slowly with some miscellaneous categories all around the house. So first go to where you keep your towels, washcloths, hand towels, bath towels, or even kitchen hand towels, and then find the two most ratty and worn out of the entire bunch. Then go to your purse or wallet to look for three cards that you haven't been using. Um, this could be a reward card, a credit card, or even an insurance card. And finally, you're going to find five pencils that have either no eraser or are so short that they are difficult to write with. And I should mention quickly that once you are pulling these items aside, you will have to make the decision if they are something you are going to donate or trash. So towels, for example, even if they're ratty and worn out, can be donated to animal shelters or pet stores. And so just be conscious of that as you go along through the list. On day two, we're going to look through the file cabinet pull out six papers that are outdated. This might be manuals for items that you no longer have, deeds to cars you no longer own, or documents that were kept for taxes that have already been filed. Day three brings us to the sock and underwear drawer. Find four pairs of socks that you never wear or that have holes in them. Um, maybe you have some fuzzy holiday socks that you haven't worn in years or wool socks that are too scratchy for your liking. Then look through all of your undergarments and pull out the three that are of the lowest quality. It's picture day. Take out a collection of photos, probably not all of them at once as that might be a bit too overwhelming. Look for duplicate photos or photos that are blurry and those in which people have their eyes closed or food in their teeth and toss aside 20 of them. We are going back to the kitchen today for day five and looking through the storage containers. You will be on the hunt for any pieces that are missing a lid, have deep scratches, or maybe those empty product containers that you've been saving, those you know butter containers, sour cream containers. There's a good chance that you have collected more containers than you need. So choose six pieces to say goodbye to. For day number six, we're going to spend a little more time in the kitchen. First, look through the fridge and freezer. A few examples of things you might find are sauces you bought for a recipe that you ended up not liking or ever making again, and food that has been stored for far too long and maybe has gone bad either with mold or freezer burn. The goal is to find eight items that match this description. 
Day seven, go to the spot where your games are kept and find three that haven't been played at all in the last year. Then search out your DVD or VHS movie collection. Eliminate nine that you don't have plans to watch again. Purses, jewelries, or ties. These are the categories we are going to tackle today for day number eight. Search out five total items from any of these groups or a couple from each. Today, pull out any formal clothing that you may have worn in the past but have no use for now. Cocktail dresses, ball gowns, suits, or button-up collar shirts. Find two items to donate for someone else to enjoy. On day 10, it's time to bust out the hobby supplies and make some realistic decisions about how much is really needed, or even if you want to continue with that specific hobby. Scrapbooking, cake decorating, leather work, whatever you have stashed away for your hobby, see if you can part with at least 10 things you no longer use. The name of the game today is books. We are going to be looking through our collection and choosing 15 that weren't our favorites or we don't plan to read again anytime soon. These can be children's board books, reference books, or anything in between. Day 12, Christmas decorations. We are going to look through this category by itself since there is probably plenty to go through. Find 12 items today that you haven't used to decorate with in the last year. And this can be lights, ornaments, wreaths, or even your tree. Day 13 is all about the tools. If you can find duplicates that are just taking up space or tools that you haven't needed in quite some time, put eight of them aside to donate to someone who could put them to good use. More photo work will be happening on day 14, but this time we're going to focus on digital photos. They are so easy to keep, and so I have no doubt that you won't have any trouble sending at least 30 into the delete garbage can icon. If you do not have digital photos, then focus again on your physical photocopies and find 30 from that category. Day 15, open up your spice drawer and cabinet and find four that you don't like very much. The smell, the taste, you just don't plan to use them. Day 16. Today, if you have children, you will be working together to look through their clothing and toys. Give them encouragement in making decisions about things that they no longer want to wear or play with and challenge them to find at least eight items that can be donated or passed along to other children to enjoy. We've gone through some pictures already and now it's time to think about picture frames. Let's look for two that aren't being used. On day 18, let's have a little look at the summer items. Hats, sunglasses, flip flops, or beach towels. Search for 10 in this category. Day 19, pens and markers have a way of hanging around even if they are all dried out. Gather them all to one central area and start testing on a piece of paper. There will probably be at least 20 that can go directly into the trash can. Have a look through your suitcase, bag, and purse collections for day 20 and see if you can find six to pass along. Day 21, search through your music collection. This might include CDs, tapes, or if you've been collecting a while, maybe even vinyl records or eight tracks. Look for 14 that you haven't listened to in a long time or that you have as a duplicate in a newer audio form. 
If you have a pet today on day 22, I encourage you to find five products that they no longer need. Toys, food, grooming supplies, etc. Day 23. Candles, tea lights, air sprays, and scented wax melts. Take a look through them and find four to let go of. It's time to go through the cleaning supplies, not just the sprays or liquids, but also the scrub brushes and rags. You should be able to find at least nine items to get rid of. Art and home decor knickknacks that no longer fit your style are the next thing to tackle. 12 pieces should be donated so that someone else can appreciate them more. Day 26. In the kitchen, let's hit up the utensil drawer, or drawers if you have more than one. Inspect the silverware, spatulas, can opener, whisks, and all the other random items you find there. Pull out duplicates and things that you are no longer needing. Try for eight. Also in the kitchen, take a look at the collection of sport bottles, cups, and coffee mugs. I'll bet you have no problem finding 14 from this category that you can easily part with. For day 28, let's go back to the clothing and put a focus on casual t-shirts. These come free with just about every event and activity, so it's likely there are quite a few in your home. Collectively, from all family members, you should be able to easily find 10. Leftover project supplies is the next place we will look. These might be found in your garage, your basement. We're looking for plywood, nails, tiles, electrical wiring, etc. Donate these supplies to a Habitat for Humanity restore or offer for free online so that they can easily get into the hands of people who can put them to good use. Try for 20 items. Seven items left to get to that magic 300 number and I'll bet you can find them by looking through your bedding, pillows, and extra blankets. If you didn't quite make it to 300 items, here are a few additional ideas of where you can look. Small home accessories such as lamps, side tables, and coasters. Gift wrap, bags, bows, and tags. Snow gear if you live in a colder climate area, such as mittens, heavy jackets, or boots. Outdated or unused electronics, such as remotes, gaming consoles, phones, or music players. And self-care products, such as makeup, body sprays, grooming tools, and the like. So those are just a few additional ideas that come to mind. Every single item on this list is something that I looked through during my own personal decluttering journey as I was starting out. And I have to say, I don't miss anything that I decluttered during that time. You'll notice I don't have on the list anything sentimental because I do feel like that category comes a little later in the process when you feel more confident with your decluttering style and making these decisions. And so this list really offers you a great jump start a great beginning point to get the ball rolling and I'm excited for you because I think once you've gone through the list and done the work made all those decisions and you've decluttered 300 items and you can have that accomplishment under your belt you're going to be motivated to keep going and so I wish you blessings on your journey thank you so much for watching today's video and I hope that you'll stop by the cottage again really soon